And what do we know? Uh, well, yeah, Beijing's top official in Hong Kong, um, you know, said they were going to do some urgent reforms. There's a, um, been a lot of reports about what exactly that might that might entail. Uh, there's a Wall Street Journal report saying that that would inc involve uh, changing the committee that accepts uh, or selects the chief executive for Hong Kong. So basically doing away with um, the influence of the district councillors, which are locally elected Hong Kong figures who um, won um, in the pro-democracy camp, won them um, in a landslide in 2019. So what this all is, is essentially ensuring that um, all levels of government um, are loyal to the government in Beijing and, you know, leaving really no room for the pro-democracy camp to have any influence. Dan, is there anything at all that the pro-democracy camp can do to push back on this? Um, unlikely from a legal standpoint. Beijing has shown that it can just come in and, and do whatever and has asserted the right to change the basic law whenever it wants. So there's not much uh, room there. Uh, Carrie Lam, in her comments um, yesterday, she's speaking again uh, right now, but she indicated that they wanted patriots, you know, in the in the, all levels of government, the civil service, the judiciary, the district councils, you know, as well as the legislature and the executive branch. So that doesn't leave much space for the pro-democracy camp to really have any say.